Good evening. Hey everyone. This is Jets threw me off. <laughs> Start over. Start over. Dang it. We were, we were so close. Blooper. Yeah, I mean, JC here with MM and MC, and you know what that means. It's Tech G Podcast. <laughs> Yeah, Tech and G podcast. Look, I hurt my neck. Uh, <laughs> anyways, this is what we're playing this month. Um, April is the month. So, MC, what are you playing? What am I playing? Um, he's a list. Dra- no, I don't actually. Uh, I'm, I've just been playing Dragon Dogma, uh, the old Skyrim, uh. <sighs> Ark, and um, there was another one. Oh, what's the what's the new Lego game? Lego Drive or something? And there was a Hot Wheels game. That's the one I've been playing. <laughs> I just saw MM's face of just utter disgust and disappointment when he said Legos. <laughs> Lego. <laughs> hey, it was a Game Pass. Hey, I try everything. I try everything to see if it's any good or not. Uh, yeah, it, I like by, the- by the way, I. It, it got boring for me real fast. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you what do you think about Ark MC? Uh, so the whole reason you, we're doing this whole podcast right now is because I just want to come on here and trash Ark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. How about if I say this? I played it when it first came out. Graphics weren't the best. Uh, the game was janky. The interface was terrible. I we replayed it now that they come out with the better graphics and everything else, and the graphics are better, but nothing else has changed. Nope, <laughs> it's it's still garbage, and we're sitting it's, there playing it. And this wow. game is over a hundred gigabytes when yes. it's all done installing, and it's so bad still. Yeah, well, wait, John, you gotta admit one thing: the graphics are better, right? I guess I don't know. I was, I, too guess. Being, I was too busy being mad at everything else to even look at the graphics. Yeah, well, the gra- the graphics are better, but but the interface they didn't. I don't think they changed the thing. They, they, the, they made, the, made it worse. The menu, there. The menu is criminally. The menu is criminally bad. Criminally, it, the developers should be put in a gulag and made to work for gruel every day because <laughs> this is so bad. How do you make a menu system in an RPG game so bad? You literally have like a hundred thousand RPG games that you could have copied from. Like at least do Conan's. Conan's wasn't that bad. <laughs> Dude, terrible. Conan is a triple A title compared to Ark. Yes, I agree. I agree. And oh, whoever put that bird in there. Oh, Whoever yeah. put that damn bird in this game that flies around and comes down and steals your stuff. And no matter I, how many times you try to stab it with a spear or whatever, you can't. <laughs> oh, you guys are just noobs. You don't know how to play. Yeah, go ahead and try it. Go play with that bird. I the, dare The you. lag on that with the bird, you know, <laughs> I'd, I'd have to just, I'd, I'd try to spam the button just to hit as fast as I could to try to hit it. You still can't hit it, you know. It's, uh... I, you know, I would rather play the Saw game on the Wii than play this. And if you've ever played the Saw game on the Wii, it's actually it's actually terribly hilarious. Well, um, here's what I wanted this to be. I wanted it to be a Conan with dinosaurs. You know what I mean? But nope. Well, Conan the game had dinosaurs in it. <laughs> well, it, it, is... it does, but it does. But this, you know, I wanted the more you know dinosaurs where I could fly a pterodactyl or whatever. Yeah. But this game is yeah. just. The interface is just crappy. Well, why don't you tell us about Dragon's Dogma 2 and why you like it so much? Oh, well, I, I like the first one. Uh, no, this one's not okay, my thanks. alley. It's, 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 well, it's, well it's, guys, it's, I like the first Dragon's Dogma, so that's why I like the second one. That's no, it. <laughs> no. I just like them. Put it this way. It's, 
it's I don't want to say it's Boulder's Gate, but but it's it's like Boulder's Gate, but it's actual combat. It's not turn based. I, I'm not a big fan of turn based games, and yeah. uh, this one's got real fighting action in it, and and the environment the environment's great. The map is great. I mean, everywhere you go, there there's all kind of stuff to do. So I mean, I'm not that far into it yet, but uh, you know, I'm a number of hours into it, but but I just love it. I don't know. It's one. Of, it's one of my favorite games right now. It might be his game of the year. Might be his game of the year. Uh, game of the year. Well, game of the um, it it may be. We'll, we'll have to see. I mean, there's a few other ones out there. I'm, I'm looking forward to. So, yeah. they don't screw up Senua Saga and a few others. You know, talk about games we haven't played yet, now, can we? What's that? can't talk about games we haven't played yet well no i was just saying there well we can't but i was just saying like this is the beginning of the year there's a lot more games coming out so but yeah, it is like the middle of the year the one right now so. mm what you, you know you've been doing i've been playing some some coleco games um like i got the goonies what was the other one night night something um nightmare i think night is what it was night trap no, it's not Night Trap. It's K N I G H T. Um, the one yeah, I've been playing. That's Night Trap K N I. It's the former FMV game. Nightmare. Where you, it's Nightmare. You're a knight. That's a Batman game. It's not a, it looks like it does look like Batman. <laughs> Damn, it does look like Batman. <laughs> have, to, have to let Eduardo know, dude. Did you copy Batman? <laughs> it, oh, there you go. There um, we go. Any, so, anyways, yeah. keep going. Yeah. So. I got this in yesterday. It was kind of goofing off with it. It's one of the the new Coleco. Um, I guess what they what are they calling it? What series are they calling this? They have a name for it. Um, it's Coleco Vision series Re as. revival series, and this is Berserk. So it looks a lot like the little ones that we used to get, you know, like Pac Man and Donkey Kong. Um, it did have a production error, but they shipped the board. It was took me about eight minutes to flip the board on this it's actually pretty cool it's uh, so um what happened to the people that don't want to flip the board <laughs> i don't know if they can send it back or not um i well they i mean you sold me something that's got an error in it i better be able to send it back yeah yeah i don't i don't know because i because i wasn't part of the kickstarter when i bought it i bought it knowing i'd have to flip the board because i bought it and they came I bought it and a frenzy at the same time. It was a I mean, combo that seems, deal. Not that and I want to get into it here, but that seems like a pretty big issue to me. <laughs> it, was, it was. Well, what the problem was, it was interesting, is that the board, you don't know what Berserk looks like, right? It's got the, yeah. the blue border around it. For some reason, it was, it was over to the left a little bit, so you didn't see this wall over here. So that was the way they came in. That's the way they shipped. They, they, shipped. they didn't see that before they shipped them? I guess not. <laughs> Where's the beta testing, or you know, yeah. like, <laughs> where? I guess not. Scroll. Yeah, I guess not. So all the kickstarters, you know, that they bird had the from option. Arc stole their quality control department. Yeah. <laughs> so all the kickstarters had to, um, had to. They got, you know, they 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 made it right. They sent everybody. The, they got the board. Sent everybody the board. And again, it's like five wires. It wasn't, it wasn't real hard. I can under, geez, if I was on the Kickstarter, I can understand not being thrilled with that, but I, I wasn't part of the Kickstarter. I, I bought it through the eBay auction, bought both of them from, um, from new Coleco. And I knew it says right in there, you have to replace this board. And I'm like, okay, whatever I can do that. It's like another 30 bucks if they replace the board for you on both of them. So but I, I've enjoyed it. It's it looks. I think it is an NES version of the two games. I think it's 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 uh and it's done by who's that Bob guy that does all the the games over on uh, Atari Age for the seventy eight hundred and twenty six hundred. Oh it, yeah, um, he, Rob Alvey. No, not that guy. Um, <laughs> an, an actual an actual programmer. The, the, he does a Bob does a really amazing job, and it's and and he. Did these, but he did what was it? The Pac Man collection for the 7800. Um, there was a bunch of games he did that were just they're gorgeous. Um, a lot of them were part of that Atari Age last chance sale. So, and I think that he released the ROM for this, but it is an NES ROM. 
So, but yeah. for what I what I paid for them, it was like I want to say it was like sixty bucks, sixty five bucks for both, with shipping oh, and everything. It was a great. I deal. mean, yeah, I think thirty bucks is reasonable. Yeah, for, for that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I paid. I, you'd have to go out and look, but I mean, again, I knew I'd have to flip the boards, so I went into it knowing that there was an issue with the original boards. So, hmm. but um, but they came in quick. They came in like three days from Jersey. So, um, but, but like oh, I said, I, that's quick. That's quick. Yeah. Well, so, that's what I, that's what I hate about today, though. Quality control on stuff sucks anymore. Yeah, I mean, like yeah. I said, I kind of, I kind of felt bad for them because they they probably just drop shipped them. I I don't know how they were shipping yeah. them, so they probably probably, didn't, probably looked didn't at the, the probably looked at the prototype, came in, and said this is what they're going to look like, and they were like, yeah, we'll just I ship just, them. I have, a, I just can't believe that not one person opened up a package of it and was like, don't you test like every fiftieth one or something and see what's <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, remember, this isn't a big operation. It's not like old. It's not like the original Coleco. It's not a no, big but operation. not one one box, not one. <laughs> yeah. What if what if you draw you opened them up and it wasn't even the same thing in the boxes? Like, <laughs> I mean that 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 would be a problem. But it was. They called it out on the um on Facebook on um, they did. a lot. They oh, did. they called. They definitely called it out. So, but again, it's it's you know I I don't know how I would have. Well, I we know how I would have felt if I would have been on the Kickstarter. I wouldn't have been too happy. Um, you know, having yeah, to get, having to do it. all that work and and you know obviously yeah. probably paid more than what I did, but um you know I'm talking about what I just paid for them and what they are for me. I'm happy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah hey it all matters right <laughs> yeah i mean they look great in my collection I, I actually ordered a second set just to have one to mess with and one to, to kind of put away so cool yeah yeah so. so i'm going to did you have anything else before i no that's like i said that's really all i've been messing with i have a question for you the... john uh -oh. we'll play yeah. arc after we're done here nope nope okay <laughs> Let me think about it. Nope. Uh -uh. Maybe. Maybe. I like how fast. Nope. Uh, uh, so I'm going to say two word, two words, two Roman numerals. Hell Divers two. Mic drop. That's what I've been playing. I can't even say there's anything. I'm sure I, there is stuff wrong in the game. There are some parts that are glitchy and stuff. It's going to be patched. Things are going to be changed. But I for forty dollars, Hell Divers Two, man. I, I know PC and PlayStation exclusive. I got it. It would be great if I could play with everybody. That's but what, you just that's have to play with yourself. Yeah, that's what's wrong with yeah. this world. Why can't we play our games where we want to play them? But I don't even think I need to talk about Hell Divers Two. I think people have probably heard so much about it the last few weeks that it's been out. Um, it's a great game. I, I've had a lot of fun with it. I wish I could play with Mike. I wish I could play with both of you. Actually, if you both bought it for PC, we could play. Um, I don't have a good enough PC for that. I told you it would run on low settings. Yeah, I don't want to see blocks going across the screen. <laughs> it's just literally... They're it's low what we used to play ball. back in the day. I, I know, but I'm yeah, trying to get more about? modern. What are you talking about? That's what we used to play I, back in the day. Yeah, after fifty years, I think we should change from that. You know, it's, it's blocks of democ blocks hey, for democracy. Hey, Mike, just take your glasses off; it'll all it'll all blend in. And while the blocks yeah. would get blurry and mixed together, might look a little smoother. You know, so, I wanna that's name, how they I wanna, smoothed it on the old TVs. What are you talking yeah. about? I want to name one more game um, that I apparently bought on my PlayStation like last year and it the game came out in 2021 but I've, it's been sitting on in my it's been sitting installed on my ps5 for like a year and i went back and i wanted to play it and i was like it kind of looked interesting so it's called tribes of midgard and i believe it's on pc and all the consoles including the switch uh but it's kind of like this norse mythology color shaded like color cell shaded graphics and it's 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 overhead um what's the term like like diablo um oh what's that top down called the oh, view isometric isometric yeah so it's got like that isometric view and it's an rpg so you get weapons you can level up your character but i just found out that you can play with one to ten characters 
So you can play up with the, the 10 people. So I need to find out if this is cross play because if it is, it's on Steam for 20 bucks right now and it's super fun. Like I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna show this to you guys. I'm gonna put this in the Discord chat, our secret Discord chat that everybody now knows about. <laughs> secret one. Yeah, because it's it's cool. I'm gonna look up to see if there's crossplay. But it I, I think I bought it at first and it kind of looked a little cartoonish to me, and I that's why maybe I didn't play it. But like now, like when at the last couple of weeks I sat down and actually looked at the game, I'm like, no, this looks really good, actually. But um, yeah, so that's for me. I mean, Hell Divers 2, I've been playing Ark. Um we were playing Remnant 2 as well, which was a lot of fun, even though we were completely lost. Uh, just kind of guessing the entire time. But, hey, that's... Uh, if no one else has got anything else, that's what we've been playing here at the TechAG podcast. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, as the nerds here always say... Stay nerdy, nerdy my, my, my friends. friends. Bam. Kablamo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.